We lost a lot of Pokemon in the last episode of the Nuzlocke, but we are still here and we are still fighting. And we're using a different team now because we had to make a lot of changes. So Cartana, Slowbro, Corviknight, and Victini are no-brainers. They're the only good Pokemon left on the team. And now we're trying to figure out the last two slots. We have Blissey, Lacephalon, Dracozolt. And the main reason I'm adding a Dracozolt to the team is because we kind of need a Volt Absorb immunity. We need something that can take electric types, otherwise we're really going to be weak to Volt Switch and U-Turn combinations. So even though Dracozolt is better off running Hustle or Sandrush, because we don't have a grand ground type team on the roster, I'm going for a Volt Absorb set and hoping that Bolt Beak will be good enough. Then we're running Pokemon like Blissey, we have Victini with the Heavy Duty Boots, and we're using a Shed Shell Slowbro to help versus Heatran. Because we are really weak to Heatran, we don't really have any checks. So we're going to be using Shed Shell with a little bit of special defense to help us versus Heatran. And here, because I really wanted a sweeper on the team, we're going to be using Sword Stance Salic Kartana. I really wanted a sweeper because ideally, if we can sweep, we don't have to lose any Pokemon, right? So that's what I'm really going for right now. So I'm going to be using, you know, Thunder Wave Blissey to help with SD Kartana. And as always, if you want to be nicknamed on the video, you have to be a member of the channel. A few of our members have fainted. This is one of our last alive members left. And let's just keep going. Hopefully, we can get a good matchup. No Heatran, hopefully. And we'll just see if we can maybe get an early Kartana sweep. Or maybe we can completely wall them with Pokemon like Slowbro and Blissey and Corviknight. And our Corviknight is maximum physical defense because we do have a Blissey with uh, really good special defense. And yeah, let's just see how it goes. Okay, this is not good. So there is a Heatran, which is a problem. And there's a Subat, which is actually not a problem because we do have our Choice Scarf Dracozolt, which can Bolt Beak it. So we can like surprise Bolt Beak the Subat, right? So I'm thinking maybe this Heatran is like a Stealth Rock Heatran because there's no other Stealth Rocker on his team. So what is he going to lead, right? He's either going to lead Choice Specs Dracopult or he's going to lead with Heatran, right? That's basically basically what you would lead, right? So let's see here. Okay, so do I lead? Dracothel doesn't outspeed Draco Dragapult, which is unfortunate. Um, I can probably lead Blissey to anti lead Heatran and Dragapult if he leads or Shifu, so be it. Okay, we get the lead. Hopefully we can Thunder Wave the Heatran. I'm really hoping he doesn't have Taunt. But it looks like a Stealth Rock Heatran, especially when he let it. Yeah, it is Stealth Rock Heatran. Okay, this is really good. I was scared of Heatran, um, but not anymore. I'm really happy with how this goes out. He goes to Urshifu Rapid. I really wish I was Heavy Duty Boots, but we are Shed Shell on Slowbro. Let's go ahead and hopefully take a hit. Don't U-turn, please. Don't U-turn. Okay, no U-turn. 24 only Life Orb. Life Orb means it might be like Thunder Punch, right? Uh, we have to open up the calc for this. We are not maximum defense, so I'm really scared of like a Thunder Punch coming in from Urshifu. Slowbro, OU defensive, we're like 154, I believe, something like that, 150, I think. 152, okay. Then we have Urshifu, Rapid. It's not Choice Band, it's Life Orb. Uh, close Combat did 23.9, right? So let's check if it has like Thunder Punch, for example. Thunder Punch... Thunder Punch does not one-hit KO, so we can teleport. Okay, this is good. He goes to Zerora. Okay. Now... Okay, this is interesting. So it took Stealth Rock damage, so it has a Life Orb, right? Probably. Let's check that Kartana. And then we have Zerora with a Offensive Pivot. Let's give it a Life Orb. Close Combat will knock us out, so I think we have to go to Draco's ult, probably. Draco's ult, let's calc that Draco's ult, right? Um, let's just give it the EV spread, okay. So he can't really touch us. We can maybe go for an Earthquake. Oh, it's Play Rough. Oh, we live the hit. We live the hit. Okay. Okay, that's really good. So hopefully I can switch out Draco's ult. Um, hopefully I can switch out Draco's ult so I don't have to sacrifice it to the Nuzlocke gods right now, but yeah. So, like, we've lost a few Pokemon. I don't want to lose Draco's ult here. You go to Kartana now. I'm assuming it's Choice Scarf. Let's go to Corviknight. Hopefully it's not SD. Okay, it's not SD. We can Roost, because even if he goes to Heatran, it's a paralyzed Heatran. So we can Roost it, and then we can be probably in good shape. Okay, yeah, you go to Heatran. 
Uh, we can U-turn, or it might be Flame Body, so we don't have to U-turn. Let's go to Blissey then. I wonder... Okay, don't double switch. Eruption, okay. Yeah, that's not good enough. We can Thunder Wave predicting a switch. Hopefully, he would go to maybe Dragapult, I'm hoping. Okay. Good play from him. Let's Thunder Wave again. He, I'm really hoping he goes to Urshifu at some point. Okay, maybe not. Okay, now we have to Soft Boiled. Now he'll go to Urshifu, definitely. Okay, maybe he's not. What is he doing? I'm... Like, you should be going to, like, Urshifu or Kartana. Now you go to Urshifu, okay. Let's go to Slowbro here. Don't Thunder Punch, please. And maybe we do have to sack Draco Zolt. I'm really thinking we might have to do it. Okay. We are outside of range, so we can teleport here. We are out of range of a potential uh, Thunder Punch. So we can teleport. And I wonder what you would go to. Would you go to... You go to Subat. Heavy Duty Boots. Oh, but I can't go to Draco Zolt, right? Because of Stealth Rock. So I go to Victini, right? I go to Victini and I Bolt Strike. Subat is not going to take the hit, right? Maybe you go to Heatran, maybe? But I do have Scorching Sands, so that's good too. I think you would have to go to Heatran or Dragapult. You go to Dragapult, you take Stealth Rock, okay? 24. Pair oh, that's really lucky. That's really lucky. We're really fortunate for that. Now we can U-turn into Blissey. Shadow Ball. Okay, this is good. Now... We can Seismic Toss, maybe? Yeah, let's just Seismic Toss here. He forfeits. We win. Okay, so let's see what Pokemon we can claim. So, um... We can get... Uh... Swoobat. Verora, or Shifu, Rapid, right? We can get one of these three Pokemon, I believe. Can we get anything else? We can't get a repeat, right? So we've already gotten Heatran, Dragapult, Kartana. We already have Heatran, Dragapult, Kartana. Okay, let's pick. Oh, we didn't get Zerora, right? Yeah. Let's pick. Urshifu Rapid. Okay, let's go. That's a good Pokemon to have. That is a really good Pokemon to have. We finally have an Urshifu Rapid here. Let's add that Urshifu Rapid. Should I change up my team? Urshifu Rapid is definitely a good Pokemon. Is it worth changing up the team now? Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you think I should do with our new new squad, right? We have Urshifu Rapid. Should we replace maybe Draco Zolt? The thing is, I do want the electric immunity. So maybe we can't replace Draco Zolt. Maybe we can replace Slowbro. It's a really tough decision. Let me know down in the comments below what you think I should do. And right now we are 16 and 0. We can check our rank as well. We are 16 and 0 on the ladder. 80 GXC, 1411. And yeah, this has been a really fun series. And let me know what you think of what I should do next.